Oh man, look at that. Add some of this gravy gold. It's literally melting in my mouth. Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to cook a rolled brisket in a pellet smoker. I'm also gonna show you how to make some homemade gravy that'll knock your socks off. Trust me, this is gonna be on your menu very soon. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. We're gonna need some brisket, and a good sized piece of the flat muscle is gonna be fine for this recipe. As always, Gippsland Premium Meats in Berwick looked after me. If you do pop in, don't forget to tell them Shuey sent you. Now using a sharp knife, we need to butterfly this open. Just taking your time, just keep slicing it, and just keep folding it back on itself. And there we have our butterfly brisket. Now we need to mix together some avocado oil, some whole grain mustard, some garlic, some rosemary, some oregano, some sage, some salt, and some pepper. And just give that a good mix. Now just brush this all over the butterfly brisket. And then just cut six to eight pieces of butcher's string to tie it up. And now roll up the brisket as tight as you can. And then starting from the center, tie it up with the string and just work your way to the ends and just trim off the excess string. A good tip though is give your butcher a heads up on what you need. The seasoning on the outside of the brisket is a little bit different though. I'm using the Feedlot Black Angus purely because it tastes awesome and it's suited for beef. Firstly though, we're gonna give the whole roll brisket a coating of avocado oil just to help the rub stick. Remember to flip it over and do every piece of it. And now you can just give it a good healthy coating of your rub of choice. Now it doesn't matter really what seasoning you use, any sort of beef rub will be fine. But if you can get a hold of it, try the Feedlot Black Angus. Trust me. I love homemade gravy, so let's make one for this. Into a pan, add a roughly chopped onion, skin and all. The skin will actually help the gravy get a nice dark brown color. A whole head of garlic, just cut it in half and throw it all in. Some celery roughly chopped. A couple of carrots, roughly chopped. A fennel bulb, remove the top bits and the stalk. Roughly chop it, all that can go in. Some fresh rosemary, just break it up a bit. Some fresh oregano, same thing, just break it up a little bit. And some fresh sage. And these herbs are just gonna complement what we put into the rolled brisket. Now add the rack with the rolled brisket on top of all that. Add about two cups of beef stock and about the same in red wine. And we are done. Well, almost. One last thing. Now I love adding levels of flavor to my meals and today's no different. Bone marrow can add such a umami kick to a meal. A simple coating of avocado oil. Make sure to brush it all across the top and this will help the salt and pepper stick. And then add some salt and some pepper. Now just place them on a tray, on the tray with the brisket, and hopefully you have an angled one like me so you don't lose any of that bone marrow goodness. This adds so much flavor. I love adding it to stews, broths, and gravies. Today, I'm setting up to smoke on my Zed Grills pellet smoker because I want a set and forget style of cook today because I've got other things to do. I filled the hopper with a mix of pellets, some cherry pecan and some Australian hardwoods. So I can open the lid now and turn the unit to the smoke setting. And as you will in the startup, you'll see a lot of smoke come out. Once that's settled and you can hear that flame roaring, close the lid and we're gonna set our temp. And I want to be smoking at 150 degrees Celsius today. While we wait for that to get to temp, good time for you to go and like this video. Helps me out a lot, and it's going to give you good luck for a week. Maybe. The smoke is at temp, so it's time to add the rolled brisket. There we go, straight on the bottom rack. Close the lid. And we can leave that alone for a couple of hours. That's right. We're not even gonna look at this for at least two hours. Hopefully by now you've subscribed to my channel. And while you're there, hit that bell button. That bell button's gonna notify you every time I upload new content. We are two hours into the cook, so best we lift that lid and have a look at how we're going. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Let's pull it out and check those liquid levels. And for those of you who like to know what the temp normally is, it's only at Low 30s. That color is looking fantastic, but we can move the whole lot over here. We've got plenty of liquid, but the bone marrow 
This bone marrow is like jelly now. So we can scoop that all down into our gravy mix. Scrape every one of them, give it all a good stir, and we can put that back in the smoker. Let that go for about another hour. Did you know there's a Shuey's Facebook page and Instagram account? You do now. So the rolled brisket's been smoking away for three hours now, so let's have another look at it. Oh, that's looking really good. Let's just check the internal. Yeah, around 54, 55. I say we get it out and we wrap it up in some foil. Don't forget your heat-proof gloves. And look at that. Just gonna top the fluid levels up with about, I don't know, a cup of water. And we'll cover it with some foil. Just remembering that pan's gonna be hot. Back in for another couple of hours. If you could only smell this through the lens. We've just passed the six hour mark. I've just probed the brisket and it's a little bit tight in the center. Internal temp's reading just in the high 80s. So I'm just gonna let it ride for another half hour. The main thing to remember is we're not going by internal temp, it's how it's probing. Today we are cooking with an indirect heat of 150 degrees Celsius and the entire cook's taken about seven hours. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a 14 beer cook. See, those who followed me for a while knew a longer cook was only around the corner. Enjoy those extra beers. That's seven hours down. It's time to open it up and let's have a look at what we've created. Oh, have a look at that. That smells absolutely incredible. Look, internally it's reading at 95, but it is probing like butter, that is perfect. But we aren't finished. Let's move the brisket over to a tray and we'll cover that with some foil. Now we can move this aside and allow it to rest while we make our gravy. You are seriously going to love this gravy. Now we're gonna strain the entire contents of the pan through a sieve. And if you have one, put, the, put some of the liquid through a fat separator. And using the fat separator, the fat has risen to the top. Press the handle and all we're using is the sauce down the bottom. So we'll put about a cup to two cups in the bottom of this saucepan and stop before the fat gets down the bottom. Done. Now I'm just gonna keep this warm over a medium heat while I make a corn slurry. So it's corn flour and some water just into a paste and it's gonna help thicken that. So you just wanna add the slurry mix a little bit by a little bit and then just whisk it in until it gets nice and thick. Pretty much how you like your gravy. That's it, once it's nice and thick, season it with a bit of salt and pepper to taste, put it into a serving jug. It's finally time to cut into this rolled brisket and I can't wait. This <laughs> smells incredible. Using a sharp knife, we just wanna start slicing it. Oh man, look at that. How good does that look? So with some added to a plate, let's just add some of this gravy gold. Look at that. Look at that. How good does that look? Regardless of how good it looks, we all know there's only one test that matters and that's a taste test. Wow, I say it all the time, but that should be illegal. You got a smoke ring, it's tender. Look, it just squeezes apart. Yum. And that gravy. Mm. It's literally melting in my mouth. I mean, seriously, how good does that look? As always, cheers for watching.